I just wanted to make a quick follow-up video on this little fly cutter. I've got it finished now. Um, before I actually put it into use, I may have to grind a uh, little detents or notches into the high-speed steel that I wind up using to actually secure it in place, but otherwise it's um, finished. I had some, let's see here, some decent 1024 set screws that I used. <clears throat> and fortunately, I had a 1024 tap complements of Kimber Zellick. So between the two, I was able to get this thing finished up. I, um, just tossed it in a vise in the drill press and did a little bit of a, a counter bore, a slightly larger size, and then an oversized, or excuse me, an undersized drill bit for the uh, the tap for the for the 1024, and it worked out just fine. The one hole's a little high, one hole's a little bit low, but it feels like it's going to work, and I've got a really super tight fit on the the quarter inch high speed steel so should be able to use this on either uh, the Cochrane Bly or the half Cochrane Bly half Bridgeport mill and um, I guess I had forgotten to mention it at the beginning of the first video the purpose behind this is I'm trying to get set up to make a duplicate of that gear so going to have to grind that profile <clears throat> that involute tooth profile onto a piece of quarter inch steel and I think I've got some ideas sorted out on how I'm going to manage that probably um, utilizing the Hindi um, I think I can chuck up an air an air powered die grinder and run you know one of these you know little grinding stones and get a profile that's going to be fairly close to the profile of these teeth so anyways it looks like this was a smashing success and it only took me a few hours to get the thing built so eventually i'll hopefully build a uh, bigger one uh, specifically for the the cochran bly um, i had thought about doing it off of oh where is it one of my existing brown and sharp um, homemade uh, collets but i figured for the amount of extra time it would take to do that i would just make one on a half inch arbor or half inch shank and uh, then I can use it wherever I need to so anyways I figured it that was worth a, a little bit of a follow-up video so I will catch up with you guys later